This is just a short video of the new Remove View K1. I've had this one about three days now, and uh, it's time to just kind of see what it can do. I have it on the auto tune settings today, 4K, 30 frames per second. I have the new, the little uh, custom microphone plugged into it so you get the best sound. I'm standing here watching the traffic go past in my front yard and that traffic is usually pretty loud and pretty awkward with most of the other uh, small um, cameras like this so it'll be very interesting to see how it sounds today. Today it's partly cloud, no it's overcast. Today is overcast. The sun trying to peep through but I don't think it's going to make it because we're looking at about seven inches of snow here starting in about the next hour or so. So I'm going to just pan around, walk through my garage to see how it adjusts as you move into an area. See how the low light works. Let's stop and I'm going to close the garage door. Listen to how it's how noisy that is, how it sounds. And the door is closed and there's no light coming in except through two walk-in door doors, the windows. So let's take a look around. I have to say the low light is really good on this this. You're gonna see a little reflection here as it tries to go down this car. <clears throat> then it'll be it'll be bright, but we're gonna turn it in, watch it recover. Recovers nicely. And again, this is dark. This is uh it's not it's dark dark enough that uh you could just read a book in here. So it does pick up the light really well. Alright, let's walk outside. Nice snow day. The sun's out a little brighter than it was 10 seconds ago. And I am moving the machine around. I'm not uh, using the pan function at this time. So it may be a little fast. And we're going to walk through this shed just again to play with the the light differences with it. Coming up to the door. This door sticks. So I have to kick it. A little extra noise. No light in here except from a window. No, I'm not showing you all my toys. Just showing you the difference in the lights. Now, I'm going to walk into this work area. I'm going to turn the lights on here. Walk in. This area is lit up with four four-foot LED strip lights and then the windows. So this will give you an idea how it does in this type of lighting. Give it time and it adjusts pretty good here. Most of the other cameras like this, this will be very grainy in 4K with this amount of light. I have the Rilo 360 and I'm not happy at all with that, the way it does that. Look down through here. I'm going to tip this down and look down into this if I can get the button to go the right direction. Never can. Now I'm looking all the way down into this snowblower to see how the light works, see whether it focuses good. I'm about uh, 10 inches away from that back black panel. So we'll pull it out. There you can see how, how it went. And we're going to tip it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to come around. And we'll come outside. See where my squirrels all take off. There they go. 
<coughs> I'm going to use this little charging port to just set this down on the t handrail here. Adjust it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the... I have it on slow. We're going to use the slow pan so you get an idea how slow it goes. It may be jerk a little bit because... There, now I got it solid. Okay, see how it does. That's pretty good. That's a nice, nice range for the joystick. Let's look up. And look down. So I thought fat, medium was a little bit too fast for the way I like to do my panning. And fast, I'm sure, is way too fast for me. But I like this slow. What do you think? I'm real happy with this uh, K1. Um, it's what I've been waiting for. I have the new Android app. I've been playing with the Android app. The, the app does everything that the machine does. You can just do it remotely. One thing I really like about this, uh, the K1 and the app, is that when you turn the K1 off, the Wi-Fi automatically turns off. So when you go to turn it back on again next time, it's not trying to use the Wi-Fi and waste the battery. Uh, I like that a lot. So, so far I'm very happy with it. And uh, I can recommend that you, you pick one up. So, that's it. Thank you.